What's going on guys? Detro here. And after E3 was an, and um, Fallout 76 was announced, I was sitting there looking at a bunch of the stuff, really excited about the game, a little bit nervous, but I think the whole community is right now. Nobody really knows exactly all the details of the game. All we know is it was kind of vaguely announced by um, Todd and um, E3. And um, anyway... After looking around and stuff, I was, this is be another video I just made thing right now, but I have found, everyone's been worried about the Mothman this whole time, is the Mothman going to be in the game, is, he, is how, how much is it going to be referenced? Well, I have found another legend that I guess all y'all just forgot about, do y'all remember the Flatwoods Monster? Well, there's something that you might have missed in the game. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type in flat, flatwoods monster. Flatwoods monster. Okay. This is, I'm very familiar with this story. It's one of my favorite stories. I've read just about every story that's been made on it that I've been able to find. And it's a pretty interesting story. It is about a monster that was in, that was in the Braxton County, which is also in West Virginia. Now, it was... It started, the first sighting of this thing was in September 12th of 1952, as it says on the screen. I already knew that, but, you know. Anyway, let's go on into it a little bit here. It was in Frametown, West Virginia, which everybody's been worried about the Mothman. The Mothman's a really good story, too. I love the story, but this one is one of my other favorites, just because... Just because it's always been one of my favorite ones. I think we had these 80 encyclopedias at the house as a kid, right? And I used to read them all the time. Well, this was one of the stories that was in one of the, uh, the Myths and Legends encyclopedia, Kid Craft, uh, whatever it's called. I can't remember exactly what it was. But here's the story. At 7.15 p.m. on September 12, 1952, three little boys witnessed a bright object cross the sky. The object came to rest... Sorry about that. Object came to rest on land belonging to a local farmer. Once they saw the thing land, the boys went to one of their mom's houses where they were to see a UFO crash land in the hills. From there, the boys and a group of locals went to the farm to try to find whatever it was that the boy had seen. One of the local dogs ran ahead out of sight, started barking. Once later, back the, the dog ran back with his tail between his legs. After traveling about uh, one fourth of a mile, the group reached the top of the hill where they reportedly saw a large pulsating ball of fire. About 50 feet away, they also saw and smelled a mist that made their eyes and noses burn. A local farmer then noticed two small lights over the left of the object and then directed his flashlight towards him, revealing the creature, which was reported to have emitted a shrill hissing noise between glides towards them, changing direction then heading towards the red light. At this point, the group fled in panic. Upon returning home, the mother contacted the local sheriff's department and a news reporter. The reporter conducted a number of interviews and, re and returned to the site with the farmer late that night, where he reported that there was a sickening burnt metallic odor still prevailing. The sheriff and his deputy searched the area separately, but found no trace of the encounter. Early the next morning, the, re the reporter visited the site of the encounter for a second time and discovered two tracks in the mud, as well as traces of a thick black liquid. He immediately reported them being in as being possible signs of a saucer landing based on the premise that the area had not been subjected to traffic for at least a year. It was later revealed that the tracks were likely to have been those of a Chevrolet pickup driver by a local who had gone to the site to look for the creature some hours before Stewart's discovery. After the event, investigators associated with civilian saucer investigation obtained a number of accounts from witnesses who claimed to have experienced similar related phenomena. These accounts include the story of a mother, 20-year-old daughter, who claimed to have encouraged this 
kind of creature of the same appearance and odor. The day after the Fleetwood, a cu- Fleet Flatwoods incident, a couple taking leisure drive through the mountains of Frame, Frame Town, West Virginia, at dusk, were met with a similarly horrific experience. Car, to, car came to a sudden stop and refused to start again. Shortly thereafter, a putrid sulfuric odor filled the air. The couple circling the vehicle in hope of spotting the culprit spotted some far worse than they could have imagined. From the waist down, it was similar to the Fairlight monster, but from the waist up, it was a reptilian humanoid. And here's just some, some examples of what it looked like. It had glowing eyes, yellow eyes, remember this, yellow eyes, and had a pointed hat looking cow or whatever they said. But the most famous picture of all is, go back here, this one. This is the picture that was in the encyclopedias I was looking at as a kid. It's one of my favorite pictures, because that's just the creepiest picture. It's one of my favorite ones. It's probably the creepiest one. Now, you're going to you're probably asking, what the hell does this have to do with Fallout? Well, let's go back to my video, man. What about that? <laughs> That's Mothman. Supposedly, it's actually a bat, I think. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the bat. There's a bat in the game. Now, look right here. Look. Do you see that over in the corner? What does that look like? Yellow eyes, some sort of cow. But that is the Flatwoods monster. Or Fallout's rendition of it. What it actually is, I don't know. It could be a robot, but there, right there, that is a reference to the Flatwoods monster of Braxton. Braxton. County and Framewood. That's pretty interesting. Now, what that actually is, I don't know at this point. Um, as soon as I figure out what that actually is, I'll make another video. But for right now, it's very interesting that they put that reference in the game. And, I mean, it's all speculation right now, but that's what that seems like to me. So, um, I'll be making a lot of videos on Fallout 76 as more info comes in. It's going to be pretty interesting. I'm very excited about the game. I'm nervous, of course, but who isn't? Um, I just wanted to share this with you before I went to bed. I've been up for a long, long time. Um, yeah, that's about it. I uh, hope you all have a good one. And uh, if anything else comes up, I'll maybe sure to make more videos of it. And uh, I will... Be making a lot more videos of different things I've been doing. I have a lot of projects I'm working on, so I um, hope you'll stay in there and enjoy them. Thank you. Y'all have a good one.